police still here on scene combing through some of that evidence. This is a very busy intersection here in Plano. Hundreds of shots were fired in this neighborhood, hitting several homes like this one here behind me. Billy Shamir Mayor will stand trial in yet another capital murder case. It's hard to believe, but this right here used to be Rachel Ryan's shed. There's tons of water still in here, lots of mud, valuable items just tossed all over the place. And within the last 15 minutes, Doug, the rain has started to pick up. We actually want to turn the camera around so you can kind of see what the road looks like. We know crews are on scene. I did speak with TxDOT who says they're working as fast as they can to clear that crash, but you can see just how much traffic has backed up right here on 75. Your story has gone national. I mean, what does it mean to get all of this recognition? I have on actually a t-shirt that fans can win. There's tons of games out here and you can even take pictures with superstars like Jalen Brunson right here. They are just committed to supporting the Cowboys. Take a look right now. You can see this tailgate. The fans still out here watching this game. Experts say when you take these selfies and then post them on social media, you may be giving away more than you think. The family told CBS 11 they wanted to make sure this didn't happen to any other child moving forward. This report says there were three missed opportunities to stop the shooter and some of the 21 victims killed could have been saved. Right outside of the buy gun back event, there was a group of people who were able to offer cash and buy guns themselves. For people who have never seen this before, can you explain what exactly this this is a sound bath in. They're actually playing some Taylor Swift music out here right now. It's one of my favorite songs by her. We want to show you what the hype is about right now. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see we're right outside of AT&T Stadium and you can see over 200 people already out here in line. Good morning, Dominus. We have an update to that crash that we have been tracking on 30 West. First two right lanes were blocked. Now I can tell you that all lanes are closed on 30 West right before you get on the George Bush Turnpike. You can see right here on the text cam that semi overturned. We do know crews are on scene right in front of that semi. You can see the tow truck there, so they're working to clean up this mess. But at the moment, it is causing a lot of backup. You can see right here on the map that red, purple and yellow. A lot of cars now making their commute, so that means a lot of people stuck in that traffic at that moment. So you're going to have to add some extra time as you head out the door this morning. If you're heading on 30, we do want to tell you about another crash right now that is closed portions of I 20 going eastbound. This is right at FM 2871. All lanes are blocked. We do want to give you that live look. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see our photojournalist there on scene. This is in Parker County. Two semis involved in this crash. Again, this is closed portions of I 20 eastbound. This is right before you get to the 820 interchange. So again, adding extra time is the best way for your morning commute this morning. Well, first, we're in the neighborhood where that happened. I can tell you right now the cleanup has started, but we also want to show you the damage that was done. The water coming in so powerful that it knocked out this window right here at this apartment. We also want to show you just how high that water was. I'm about 5'3". If I stand right here, the water came almost to my shoulder. We spoke with Brittany Taylor, who was excited to move into this neighborhood. After just two days, she lost almost everything. Flood water is what Brittany Taylor woke up to in her brand new loft apartment Monday morning. My, like my laptop, you know, just like a lot of keeps things. A lot of pictures and journals. Taylor has a whirlwind of emotions after losing almost everything. It's really, really scary because uh, water was still rushing in through the front door. So um, outside looks like a river and inside it's just flooding in. Okay, After this I'm happened. I'm freaking out. My, my apartment is literally flooding. I just woke up and I don't, should I call 911? What do I do? Water everywhere. Her second night ever sleeping in her apartment turned into a nightmare. And I hear like water rushing that sounded like inside water. So I was like, oh no, like the window must be leaking. Like what's going on? So I start going downstairs and the whole bottom floor is just completely immersed in, in water. Her belongings and boxes just floating around. Her car also submerged under water. But after having support from friends, family, and strangers, she's finding the light at the end of the tunnel. I found this necklace. It washed out of my stuff. I've been looking for it for a very long time. So many positives. 
And thankfully, Taylor was able to stay with her parents who are in Tarrant County tonight. She says she's thankful for everyone who has helped. Now, there's still a lot left to clean up. Thankfully, no one was injured in this area, but we want to show you what we're seeing in this parking lot. You can see cars were tossed around from that water, some windows knocked out. But again, the cleanup has started here. We'll have much more coming up tonight at 5 here on CBS 11. Back to you guys. The Hadley family is getting a lot of recognition thanks to this horse. His name is Black Lives Matter. With all the police brutality and the awareness of the Black Lives Matter movement, Black Lives Matter! I think it was the best time ever to keep the Black Lives Matter movement going so it would never ever be forgotten about. The Hadley family in Lancaster, Texas, a city 16 miles outside of Dallas, has a long history of racing horses, but more recently about this stallion here. It has paid off. Uh, it's, he's doing what, what we expected of him. We knew who he was when we laid eyes on him. It's something about a horse. You can, you can see in a horse's eyes what a horse, you know, what he's about. And he got that sparkle in his eye. And they're off. Last month, they won their first race. But the best part? To see his name printed out and to hear his name called, it was like, okay, we in business. Black Lives Matter is up to win. Hearing the name Black Lives Matter called over the intercom, a video of the moment going viral on TikTok. The horse and the name is really uh, set a tone for what's going on in the world, and people, they have to hear it. I mean, no matter where, everywhere you go, you, you, they see now social media, on social media, they have to hear it every day. It's seeing it. Thousands of people were in support of the success and the name, but there were also some negative comments. Six. Six is Black Lives Matter. They told us no, we couldn't do that. It was, um, they didn't want to create any racial hostility and it was wrong. Even though somebody may not want to, may not be happy with it, they still got to say the name. They got to say the name. And once you start saying something, it resonates on you. But none of that has stopped the family from their mission. He just bring, bring awareness. And, and our purpose is we want all of, every young black youth in the world to know that you can do anything, no matter what. We have this love for, you know, the horse world. And we've been involved in it, you know, ever since we were kids. It started in 1961 when we was children right here in Dallas, Texas. We started racing horses in 1963. They all continue the legacy of their father and mother. My daddy was a trailblazer. Uh, we're following in his footsteps. When we started racing horses, when we went to the track, we was the only black people there. We uh, lost our dad in 06. We lost our mom in 08. We hadn't run a horse competitively since 1990. But this was probably a very important picture here because this was... Back then, the brothers could remember going to the track with their dad and experiencing racism. We would go to the racetracks and be five or 600 white people, and we'd be the only blacks here. And they cheated so bad. But their parents overcoming the odds inspired them to come back 31 years later and race in 2021. For everything we, we accomplished, we've had to fight for. And since then, there's been much success. And Black Lives Matter continues to race for awareness and equality. This is God's plan. That's, that's, that's reading his name, Black Lives Matter. It has nothing to do with nothing else. Uh, because. Black lives truly matter. Black lives matter is up to win. We just want the world to know that we are, we, we're here and we're here to stay. The next race for Black Lives Matter is April 30th in Houston. If he does well there, then he'll qualify for the finals in May.